one day while um, while the disciples were sitting uh, with Jesus on on the Mount of Olives, uh, just after Jesus predicted the destruction of of the temple, they came to him and they asked him a question. Allow me to share the Bible with you. And they said in Matthew chapter twenty four and verse three. The Bible says, and he said upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world. So the disciples came to Jesus and they said, uh, uh, Lord, t tell us when, when will these things happen? Obviously talking about what Jesus said, the destruction of the temple and when will the end of the world uh, uh, come? In their mind, the destruction of the temple and the end of the world were synonymous. They thought it's, it's the same thing. So they asked the question and Jesus answers their question by giving them signs that met its fulfillment and will meet its fulfillment before his second coming. Now I will read them. I will very briefly comment on them, but I want to pick on just one uh, point, one thought from it that I, that I believe uh, uh, will speak to us. Uh, today. Notice what Jesus says. Uh, we read up to verse 14. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Now Jesus gives them uh, uh, the signs that tell his soon coming. In, in verses 4 to 7, in these uh, verses... Uh, he points to global or external calamities that are to happen. Uh, deceptions, wars, famines, plagues, or, or diseases, uh, which we are living in the midst of one. These are all simply the beginning of sorrows, Jesus says. These are the beginning of sorrows. They are not the real trouble. They have the beginning of it. Then in verse 9 to 12, Jesus talks about more personal and internal trouble internal uh, uh, turmoil. He, he says, uh, you're going to be delivered. You're going to be delivered and, and, and uh, uh, hated and killed for my name's sake. Then he says, during the time uh, uh, of persecution that will come, many will be discouraged and will lose their faith. They will turn against each other. They will betray each other and, and they will hate each other. Not only that, but many false prophets will come and will lead many to, to believe error, to believe things that I've never taught, things that I've never spoken about. And because evil and wickedness will abound, because evil and wickedness will be so widespread, the love of many, the love of many believers will grow cold towards God. They will lose their first love. But he says, but he that will remain faithful, he that will endure, he that will, will, will persevere until the end, the same shall be saved. Now, obviously, it's a time of trouble such as never before. A time where, where difficulties and, and turmoil uh, uh, is happening on, on the outside and on the inside. There is pressure to, to, to give up. There is pressure to be scared. There's, there's uh, 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 pressure to, uh, to go with the world, to go with the tide, uh, pressure to surrender your beliefs in, in, in order to be saved or to save your life rather. And in the midst of all this, Jesus gives the antidote to fear. 
Jesus gives the antidote to doubt, the antidote to, to, to persecution and, and troubles, the antidote to losing faith and love. And here it is in verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness and then shall the end come. You know, as, as, a, as a pastor, as a, as a preacher, I often on a weekly, if not daily basis, I, I, I think, I pray, I talk to God about what to preach. What, what, what should I talk about? Lord, what, what do you want me to tell the people? What, what, what do you want me to, 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 uh, to preach about? What, what do the people need? What do I need, Lord? Uh, give me a thought. Give me an idea. And for some reason or other, in the past few years, all the thoughts, all the ideas, all the messages that have been coming to my mind are gospel-centered, are Christ-centered, are righteousness by faith-centered. Messages about who we are in Christ, about what we have in Christ, about what Christ has done for us, the future that we have in Christ, the victory that we have in Christ. And uh, you know what? Uh, I have been told, and uh, even I thought it myself, uh, why always the same theme? I mean, why not talk about other topics? But the answer keeps coming back forcefully to my mind. There is no other message, there is no other theme or topic as important, as powerful as the gospel. In the midst of his description of, of, of all the troubles that will happen in the world, as he said in, in all these verses, uh, 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 all the troubles and, and the pressure that are external and that are internal, all these catastrophes, the internal catastrophes that are coming upon believers, uh, Jesus tells us, he tells me, he tells whosoever wants to hear that in the midst of all this, what you need to preach is this gospel. What you need to preach is this gospel gospel. I mean, if you are a follower of Jesus, and if you believe we are living in the last days, and if you want to preach what Jesus wants you to preach, if you want to talk about what Jesus wants you to talk about, well, there is your answer in that verse. It is the gospel. It is so clear. Jesus said the gospel will have to be preached in all the world as a witness, as a testimony, as an evidence and then shall the end come.